Hi everybody, I'm Joey. Uh, in this video I'll be making this, um, well it's a hall table kind of art piece thing. It's um, not very practical. Um, you could kind of use it but it's not very stable. Uh, but it does look kind of cool and that's really what my client wanted. She had actually seen uh, something very similar to this about eight years ago. She took a picture and carried it around with her for all that time until she found someone who um, thought they could make it. Uh, so I said, yeah, sure, I can make it. Turns out it wasn't that easy. I mean, it's three pieces of wood. Well, that's what it looks like. Um, why can't I join that together? Well, actually it wasn't super difficult, but you know, you'll see all the fails. <laughs> uh, all the times I failed in, uh, in the video, so. Um, hope you enjoy and uh, I'll see you later. So I started out by making the mold for the bent legs. Then I could break my uh, large ash stock down into thin strips before I bend it. And these pieces were too long for my steaming pipe, so I just threw together a quick plywood box, which actually works really well. You can see on the floor, just kind of behind me, I just have an old wallpaper steamer and it produces a heck of a lot of steam, a uh, really um, powerful uh, steamer. So this is my first go at steaming it and this is what you get when you don't put any thought into what you're doing. I just kind of thought it would be okay and I'd, it would work. I didn't. It didn't even really think about it, so needless to say, this is a fail. So here's the second go and I've got a much better jig set up but uh, just on cue a client walked in the door and um, distracted me and you can see that, that I've bent the timber short 
and uh, I realized this uh, sometime here, but it's kind of too late. Um, it doesn't really bend again very well. Yep. Okay, third time. Everything is set up, works good, and the bend goes really well. And I've added a piece of um, tin behind the curve um, that really just supports the fibers so they don't try and stay, um, stay going straight, um, which seemed to work really well. So after letting the pieces cool down and dry out, I've taken them out and uh, can glue it up. I'm just using PVA here. So I just took this out of the mold and <laughs> it's already opened up. And the back side looks pretty terrible. Gaps everywhere. Now it's been almost eight hours and this glue is still wet, so that's a bit weird. I'm not sure what's going on. Jeez. Right, so after buying some more ash and bending it again, and now I'm gluing up with epoxy. And uh, yeah, this really worked a lot better. You can see there's a small amount of spring back there against the mold, but both uh, legs actually sprang back exactly the same, so it worked out really well.
and I could get on to the top. I had a piece of ash. It was 40 mil stock, so I, thought, I figured I could rip it in half um, and then sand it down. Um, but it ended up sanding way too thin, so I had to go out and buy another piece of ash and start again. But luckily, this piece was uh, wide enough, so all I had to do was, do was uh, thickness it down. And I cut a couple of pieces out of the same board for the breadboard ends and um, so I'm just cleaning up the saw marks. Then I could build up my um, slot cutting rat a bit set to make the right size tongue to fit into the groove on the breadboards. I've got the domino on the widest slot cutting set and I'm using a shop made 8mm uh, ash domino. So it didn't occur to me at all that I was referencing the domino off the different points on the breadboard end and the, ac the dominoes actually ended up being l too long by the length of my tongue um, and you'll see it takes me a little while to actually work that out <laughs> it's getting pretty frustrated but I finally worked it out
Now to cut the big slots for the legs to pass through. You can see the saw blades are a little off my mark, but I just crept up on this until I got a tight fit. On the bottom side I had to just kind of guess an angle um, of the radius of the legs um, and that was just a little bit of trial and error but that seemed to work out pretty good. I made this first cut on the end of the breadboard at 22 and a half degrees but it just didn't look right so went over to 45 and it seemed to do it. And just gave it a once over with 400 grit. So there was still a little bit of play in the legs so I just added these really thin wedges um, after they were screwed in and that really um, stiffened them up. <laughs> 